Well, g'day everybody and welcome. Today we're getting back into and checking out Sengoku Dynasty after a whole lot of uh, updates and stuff. Game's looking good and it's feeling good and I've been kind of addicted to it for the last probably eight hours or so. Uh, I've, I've built a whole pile of stuff here as you can see. I've built some, uh, I'm building my village, I've built myself a well, I've built some houses here and uh, a house here as well uh built myself a storage uh, a food storage here and a kitchen in here as well there's a kitchen in here you can see somebody's in here working away in the kitchen uh this is uh this rack here is for uh for doing making fishing net this one is a workshop she's in there making some uh some stuff for the workshop there's a uh, timber storage there there's a general storage just thought I'd show you around here. Uh, up here we have a gatherer's hut, which uh, Ako, she is uh, working away in here. She's the one that we started out with. And she's doing gathering and stuff like that. And then we've got a, uh, a woodcutter's lodge over here. And as you can see, he is working away with that. I haven't found many males to bring into the village. I'm just finding uh, lots and lots of females. But you can see he's... Uh, He's doing his log work and stuff like that. So he's pr producing timber and stuff for us, which is really, really cool. One thing that I wanted to work out was I, ne I really need to, I really want to make a bow and stuff. But I've, uh, I've also been, um, if we go into, well, if we go into Dynasty, you can see our population here. You can see uh, everybody and what their, uh, what their moods are and stuff like that. Uh, you can see the different jobs we've got. We've got the woodworking, we've got the foraging, the carpentry um i've got no workers in any of that i've started messing with farming but i need to find a bag so that i can actually sow seeds and we've got a special project happening which uh Turuko is uh she's doing that at the moment you've got all your priorities here um and uh, i haven't renamed my village yet so uh and then you've got your dynasty information there this is the map so far i have found that shrine there and i did find another shrine up on where was it it was up here so, uh, right there as well there's another shrine but apparently there's a uh, fishing village over here somewhere and i've been uh i've been told to go there it's like a, a, a rebel kind of a camp and stuff like that this is where the bridge is i'll take you down there and show you that so we're going to head over there uh which is uh but at the moment we're working on uh on, on getting this bridge done and if we have a look at the uh if we have a look at the job menu and have a look at that uh there's one season remaining until this job is complete and that's going to give us a massive amount of uh experience for our dynasty as well which is going to open up the um which is going to open up the uh the, the village to uh to more people coming in and stuff like that because and, and to trade and stuff and we will work on some trade. I, I do plan on working on some trade and stuff. Uh, this is kind of a little... Uh, um, a priestess lives here. She's in there. We've, uh, we've done some quests for her and stuff as well. And over here is where this bridge is being rebuilt. So, um, And uh, one season. There's one season until that's done. So... Uh, it won't let me put any more logs in. I put all of the planks in and I put half of the logs in, but it won't let me put any more in. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, that that's going to work out. I don't know whether it will or not. Uh, in regards to, we'll pull out, we'll pull our little uh, our little spear out. Our little spear is not very good. I want to work towards uh, unlocking fishing hearts and and all of that type of stuff as well. Which is going to be important. What do, what's that sound? Kind, kind of almost sounded. So here's the rebels region. Uh, I don't think the rebels are, um, are hostile towards me. So I am setting up a village and stuff like that. So I have been told to. There's clay. At least we know there's some clay over here for when we need that. There's a fox over there. Foxes are really hard to kill. Um... Yeah, so I want to I want to really work towards um, work towards a bow, and getting a bow happening. I haven't done any real exploring over here, but um, looks like we, we might have a couple of bandits over there, and I haven't done any fighting. 
side. Hmm. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to fight them because I don't really have any weapons, so... It definitely look like they might be bandits. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit hard to know. Uh, we've also got a, uh, we've also got like a, a rebel ca a camp over there, which I'm kind of a little bit concerned about. So I was told to, uh, I was told that this other camp is on the beach. So maybe we should have gone around the beach and had a look. I'm a little bit concerned about getting myself into a little bit of, uh, little bit of trouble here because it looks like there might be some archers up there and stuff as well so let's move around and have a look but uh yeah they've been continuing to update it it's uh it, it is a bloody good game here we go this looks like it's uh where we need to go um and uh and it's only getting better it's only getting better can i get down there without hurting myself there we go lovely looks like this might be the place let's take let's get rid of that uh, we'll speak to you. Uh, now, that's a tired face if I ever saw one. I'm not tired. I just do a lot. Relax, sit down, eat something. I should know. I'm the cook here. Uh, I love to watch them eat, you know. When they return after a job, they usually, they're usually tense. And when they start eating, they suddenly smile. Lovely. Uh, even Hiko, Hikoguro. Uh, and it's hard to make this one smile. After a job, you say, what kind of job? Uh, wouldn't you like to know, hey? We have our little secrets here. All right, lovely. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm one of the new settlers. Uh, we want to live on good terms with everyone here. Good terms, exactly. That's what I always seek. You're just starting out, so you'll be exempt from the payment for a time. Great. What do you mean? What payment? Good, uh, good terms never come free. There's always uh, some give and take involved. You'll learn that soon enough. Uh, everyone here will want something from you. It will sometimes get complicated with us. It's mercifully simple. You pay us, we give you no trouble, mostly. Wouldn't you call it extortion? As long as you pay, you can call it whatever you like. Extortion, taxation, tribute, or a token of friendship. This is my favourite. Uh, but for now, you have nothing to worry about. We welcome you in friendship. When it, when the time comes, I'll visit you to negotiate on Takuko's behalf. Great. That's what we want, isn't it? To have to pay a bloody tribute. Is it? Can I can I steal steal some of their stuff? Hello, a boat repair woman. Yep, they're, they're definitely bandits. They're definitely bandits, and I can't steal any of their stuff, unfortunately. I was hoping that I might have found myself a, uh, some sort of, I don't know, a bow or something like that that I could get off of them. But I can't seem to find anything, so I don't know who to talk to over here. Um, here we go, bandit leader. Here we go. Oh, it's the outsider. You honor us with your visit. Ha ha ha. Are you the leader here? Well, what do you think? Would a woman be able to keep order among these wild, unruly beasts? I'm sure a strong woman would. Uh, of course I'm the leader. And do you know why? I wouldn't dare guess. Good for you, because I'm much wilder than them. And they know it. If you work for me, I'll do anything to help you. If you cross me, you regret you were born. So, I think that might have been the, uh, yep, everybody's finished for the day, all the villagers, and they're all going home. So, welcome to the rebel camp. What are you up to? Are you a free person or an agent of the monastery? Are we going to be friends or enemies? Hmm, okay. Doesn't look like there's anything in, oh, there is some stuff here. What's that? A placeholder icon. Unlocked a stone jug. Lovely. At least we got something out of here anyway. Now, is he a monk? Zen monk. He is a Zen monk. Uh, I don't see a garden here. Maybe you were attentive enough. It's right, right there. It goes uphill. Uh, the rock in the middle of Enduro for his or his memory. 
the gravel around it are the valley's people. Uh, look how they took part in the room for him, how they cluster around him as one. Can't you see it? Not really. Perhaps you'll see it more clearly when it acquires a palpable shape. Oh, we can trade with this guy. Oh. Okay, what can we trade? What's he got? He's got some uh, oil lamps. How much money do we have? We've got nothing. Let's sell that. Let's sell that plank. Let's sell all of these sticks, stones, grass. I don't know what that's worth. I don't even know what... Oh, it's food grain. Okay, okay, it's food grain. Oh, we need one of these yellow chrysanthemums. We most definitely do. Okay, I can buy one of those off of him. Uh, is there anything else? Maybe we could come over here and sell stuff. Now we have some dough. Can we buy one of those? Let's just buy one. And the reason why is because I have a temple. Oh, that can make sickness medicine. Okay, let's buy all of them. We'll buy all of those. What else does he have? Nothing really else that we can do. Chiseled stones. It'd be good to buy oil lamps, but uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment. So there we go. That's good. Uh, are you a trader as well? You are a trader as well. What have you got? You've got meals. Nice. She's selling fish for 30. Let's sell her all of our rot. Okay, uh, did we sell it? I think we did sell it, didn't we? Uh, let's see, she's got uh, plenty of food. Narazushi. Alright, eggs. Uh, taro, food grain. Uh, taro root. Cool, we need to find some of that as well. Alright, so. Not really anything that I can uh, buy off of her. Can I loot anything? Oh yes, I'll, I'll loot those. Unlocked monk's clothes. That's pretty cool. I want to sort of try and... Uh, every time you discover stuff, you unlock stuff. Are those monk clothes better than ours? Armor 12, poise 17. Oh, yes, they are. Let's throw those on. Absolutely. What about these? Armor 3, poise 4. What have we got? Armor 8, Poise 17. So we're going to keep those shoes, I think. By the looks of it. Maybe. Maybe this guy will buy our old clothes. Uh, trader. Yep. Sorry. Yep. 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 Let's uh, see if we can actually trade with him. And see if he'll buy our clothes. Let's sell those. There we go. We've got a little bit of dough for that. That's good. All right. Okay, so we're finding stuff. We're finding a little bit of stuff. It's it's, it's actually good to have those uh, have these clothes on now. I feel a little bit better now that I don't have my old rags on and stuff. It doesn't look like there's anything in here we can loot. But we might be able to loot some stuff over here. Is there anything over here to loot? I'd like to learn about fishing and unlock fishing huts and stuff, but I don't know whether there's anybody. I, I really like first person view, I think. I don't know whether there's anybody over here that I can talk to about fishing. Would be nice if there was. Well, if we had crops growing, this would, uh, this would grow our crops. What's this over here? don't know whether these guys up here it looks like they're looks like they're bandits is he a bandit whoa got him Nice, he was a bandit. Let's loot. He's got bamboo bottles and he's got fish. Well, he didn't have much, did he? 
We didn't have much, but it was something. Uh, what? Oh, it's me. It's me walking. I thought I could, I could hear myself walking. That sucked. I was hoping that there'd be a little bit more in that. That's the, uh, that's the first person I've actually fought. Grab that stone there. Looks like there might be a temple up here as well. So we'll go up there and have a look. Uh, and then we can... Look at that. It's actually beautiful. Look at it. That is so amazing. Look at it. I'm sorry, but I just love it. I just love it. I've got to take a screenshot of that. There we go. Screenshot taken. Let's grab our spear out and uh, run across over here. There's a sign here. Uh, Small Bridge Special Project. Uh, construction workshop nearby. Oh, so we can actually... All right, so we can actually build this small bridge to get up to that temple, I think. That's another special project, so... Uh, it requires us to build a uh, construction site, basically, a special production site, so... Because we're not going to get over there until then. Nice. Nice. Alright, well, as I said, I haven't explored around this area. Who's this over here? There's a house over here. Maybe she's a fisherman. Or a fisher person. I don't know. Hookfish has lost its freshness. So we've got some rot there. Hello, who are you? You know, she's a priestess as well. Uh, if you want something, you should speak to mother. Uh, and who is your mother? Tukua, leader of the village. She makes all the decisions. I serve the kami. Which spirit do you serve? Oh, the great sea serpent himself, Rujin. Uh, he has a shrine nearby. Hopeful don't seem to be the devout kind. They don't either. Oh, you'd be surprised. The ruler of the sea is a model for who we are here. Uh, he can be benevolent. Uh, like when he helped the poor hunter Huri, who crafty, or crafty, like when he stole Kamatari's jewel. Right now he's very angry. A couple of months ago, uh, a couple of moons ago, he came in a storm and destroyed the path leading to his own shrine. With his power, he knows. Yep. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to. Um, looks like we're going to have to build that shrine. There we go. New objective, build a shrine. Is there anything that we can uh, loot here? Doesn't look like it is. Lovely down here though, isn't it? Who's this over here? I hope it's not too dark for you guys. Maybe we can uh, get ourselves... Yeah, there's another bandit over there. Don't know whether I want to, uh, whether I want to fight him or not. I think we will. Let's let's fight him. Oh, it's a, it's a bit hard to get away from him. There we go. We got it. We got him anyway. He he only had a yari. Oh, he's got a comb. And he's got some rope on him as well. Lovely. Looks like he was sleeping out in the... Sleeping out in the wet, though. Okay, he's gone. Let's uh, see if we can make our way back home now. That might be a good idea, mightn't it? Things how it's very, very dark. Looks beautiful, though. Looks absolutely beautiful around here. Looks like this is a cave. I found a cave. 
We need an iron pickaxe though, so we're gonna need to find we're gonna need to get some iron. That's a medium iron ore deposit. That's a medium. That's a Yeah, that's a that's a fox. Doesn't look like there's any small iron ore deposits in here though. But it's worth noting that this is actually up here. Whereabouts are we on the map? Okay, so up here. I don't think we can. Alright, there we go. Lucky I had a uh, spare torch, isn't it? Okay, so we're definitely going to need... Uh, we're definitely going to need an iron pickaxe. Might be something that we have to buy unless we can find some... Uh, some small iron ore around. We'll just kind of avoid that fox, I think. Damn it, wolves. Run, Simmy, run. Yep, sounds like the wolves are right behind us. I might have to run into the village here and have the village kill them. I wanted to try and avoid the village, but... I guess they're not hostile at the moment, though, are they? So that's probably okay. Looks like I got away from them, thank goodness. Thank goodness for a bit of stamina. What's going on up here? <laughs> Is there anything we can loot here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a little camp in here as well. Surely there's got to be something that we can loot in here. Surely. I've got a whole pile of spears here, but they've got nothing to loot. That sucks. That sucks big time. It looks like they keep prisoners here. All right, let's get back home. Okay, back home we go, and the screen goes black. What is going on? What is happening? Hmm. Don't know whether there's... Uh, there's not usually... No, there's not usually text here. <gasps> Season's finished. Must be past midnight, and the bridge is done. Yay, and we're going to get some traders come through as soon as we build a trading post, and we're going to get new settlers come through as well. Perfect. Uh, talk to Toshishi. Uh, amazing. Hello. Now we're going to get refugees come through. Uh, it's good to see a friendly face. What's your story? The war drove us out. How? The battle spilled into our village. We escaped. Watch our homes burn from a distance. Uh, the battle, uh, it's difficult to forget such a sight. Hope you'll find a fight. Uh, why don't you come and live with us? Why not? We need new settlers. This could become my new home. Sounds good, but where do I go exactly? So what's his name? Taro. Okay, let's, uh, let's give him somewhere to live. Go into population. Uh, assign him a home. Let's put him in a small house over here, and he can sleep in that empty one. Do we have a job for him? Uh, he can work on the he can work on the small well, and he can create twenty water a day, eighty water a day. Okay, cool. That's fine. He can do that. Tool slot is a bucket, which uh, we do have up there. You do have to provide them with tools in the general storage. Okay, we are moving along. Let's uh, let's have a chat to uh, to Shishi. Uh, so Sierra is so happy about the rebuilt bridge. Lovely. Yes, yeah, she already told me. I never thought I would see it standing again. Everyone's thankful thankful for your efforts. Actually, the community would like to offer you as a token of gratitude. A set of clean clothes. Lovely. Uh, it's unseemly for a village leader to walk around in rags. No offense. None taken. Thank you. 
But before you go, there's one more thing. Nobody told you. Tormented places like this draw dangerous things, sometimes deadly. You mean someone wants to attack us? Is it bandits? Uh, there are things in this world, you see. There's a strange yokai living nearby, a female demon with a furious red face. I reckon I know her. Nobody knows what she's up to. Nothing good, that's for sure. Uh, you can sometimes spot her if you follow the path out of the village along the river. What should I do about her? How should I know? You can go ask Ken Kengyo. Uh, he's the one who saw her first. We need to make her leave. I do know who that is. I do actually know who that is. Uh, Alright, so what, what, what quest are we going to track? Quest-wise, Road to Renewal. Uh, let's track that one. So we need to talk to... Uh, Kengyo about that so first all right lovely so everybody's there everything's going really really well there that's uh this guy here is a bandit and he was the one that told me to go over to the bandit camp over there do i have anything i need to drop off what's that small wand used in rituals those wooden or bamboo wands with zigzagging paper ribbons cleanse sacred places from negative energy we're probably going to need that aren't we we're probably going to need that. Let's go up into our general storage up here. I do need to eat as well. So I'm going to eat that. And I'm going to eat a bit of fish. And they have given us clean peasant's clothes. But I will put those in here, I think. Uh, we'll throw those in there. We'll throw those in and that. Throw that stone in. Throw the rope in. Probably the rotten food as well, I think. So when your uh, villagers make stuff, they actually store them in here. So, um, so you've always got, you've always got some stuff there. I'll take a couple of axes anyway. Um, what else do we need? I don't know. I thought that. Oh, we can actually put that on us. Okay, okay. Let's uh. Let's go there and let's put that. Oh, it might have to go in our hair. So it's not going to give us uh, it's not going to give us any decent armor, is it? Let's throw that over there into storage. I don't know whether our villagers will uh will wear that stuff, but if we go up here, there's actually a shrine up here. So what I might do is we'll we'll go there first. I think we'll head over to that shrine. I think it was up here somewhere. I reckon it's up this path. So I'll see if I can find it. I do believe, yeah, it's up there. It goes across there. There's a bridge over here. So, But we definitely need better weapons. And uh, I definitely need a bow of some sort. But I've got to work out how to make that. So usually leading to the shrines, you usually have these... Uh, usually have these uh, sort of um, gateways going to the shrines. And I did come up here and discover this shrine. Uh, but he wanted a chrysanthemum. So I thought that I might... Uh, and look, there they are. They're here anyway. And we just bloody bought them. Who are you guys? Go. We're probably going to need some uh, some villages. What's going on, refugee? Uh, what's your story? My family was killed. I don't want to go back. What happened? The soldiers came. Our warriors didn't stand a chance. Uh, and not only them, anybody who went outside, the soldiers didn't care. We had to bury them and flee. Didn't come and live with us. Okay, what's his name? Kanashura. Let's give him a house to live in. Because we do have... I thought we had a home, but we don't have a home. Okay, we're going to need to build one pretty quickly. Let's go over and offer this chrysanthemum to the... Uh, I can't believe there was some just out there. But I did come up here at night when I was exploring, so... There we go. We've got uh, Jizo Blessing Level 1, Yizo. All right, we're going to have to go down and build a house now, I think. So what we might do is uh, chop down some 
good while we're here. Grab those, we'll grab those. We're gonna have to grab some sticks as well. Grab those. Chop this down and get some sticks. <clears throat> So there is a bit of uh, there is a bit of grindy grindy in this when it comes to building and stuff like that. But once you start having people do stuff for you, it's usually a little bit better. But uh, if we expand our wood our wood chopping hut and all that type of stuff, then I'm guessing it'll probably be better. So. Right. Grab those. Uh, we might grab some more sticks. There we go, and we'll grab one more, I reckon, before we head down. There we go. This is a uh, gobo. Gobo is really good for um, uh, for eating. You can cook it up if you want to. We probably need some more of those as well. Let's head down to our village, which is just down the hill here, and uh, we'll quickly build another house. So, and I can sort of show you the building system. But uh, it definitely feels... When I first played this, when it came out, it felt really, really, really grindy. And uh, your tools were... Um, your tools seemed to, to be dying really, really quickly and stuff like that. Like, the durability seemed to be really low. Um, and uh, it feels now like it's, uh, like it's actually... Um, like it's actually worked out quite well. What we can do is we can actually come in here and we can actually build uh, basic structures, uh, furniture, house furniture, beds. We could actually build another bed in here if we wanted to. So we need some straw, which uh, I do have some straw down in the field down here. This is where I'm building my uh this is where I'm building my farm up. Let's grab that straw. Uh this is where I'm building this farm up, so there we go. Uh so we can build a bed in here. We could probably put two people in here. Now I'm guessing that if we uh like in uh, medieval dynasty uh dynasty if we have more than one person in a room, then we could probably, um, we can probably, so we'll probably get married, I would say, if we have a male and a female in a house together. Okay, lovely. So there's, uh, there's another one there. So let's go into dynasty let's go into population he needs a home and i think we'll throw him in there there you go and he's currently unemployed so we are dynasty level seven so now we can actually um uh one of the beauties about this as well is that we can um is that we can, if I just try and assign him, is there any jobs that he can do? No, I think we might. We could assign him as a hunter. He could make fishing nets. No, I think, I think now what we might do is, um, where are we? We can actually now go and, uh, build other settlements in other areas on the map so we can build more than one village which i think is absolutely fantastic uh basic structures no what we want to do is we want to go into here production buildings a hunter's hut and a fisherman's hut i think uh yes that's how we can do our bows by having a hunter's hut. Um, let's actually have a look on our map. So we've got a hunting area through here. And we've got hunting areas up here. So I reckon we'll go 
directly over here and build it up here on the hill. I think we may as well. If we throw it up on the hill here. There we go. Up here somewhere. It'll be kind of in a hunting area. So let's uh, go down into structures and a hunter's hut. And let's see if we can find a nice place to build it. Does it have to be really, really close? Another object is blocking placement. Uh, I reckon it's those trees there. So let's chop these trees down. Let's get rid of these small bushes. Chop these down. I know, we can just straight harvest that one. Uh, there is a straight harvest that one. We should be all right, I reckon, to get it in here somewhere. Um, if I just if I just clear some of this brush and probably chop down this tree as well, I reckon, and then we might be all right. Come on, can we get him? Can we get him? Yes, we got him. <laughs> I always like trying to catch the logs when I uh, when I chop them. Okay, I reckon that that might be okay. We'll just get rid of this one. Grab that stick. Get rid of this. And uh, our stone axe has been destroyed, but we had spare ones. All right, let's try and uh, let's try and build it up here now, and see if we can actually fit it in. Come on, you can find a spot. Come on. Find a spot. Find a spot. I'm trying to get it up on this clear area here. But it keeps saying that stuff is in the way. Another object. There's only one object in the way here. What is it? What's over here? That tree? Those bushes? That should be pretty good there somewhere, shouldn't it? Must be placed near the bell tower. Okay. Right, fair enough. Maybe there's a spot down here that we can fit it in. We weren't uh, we weren't close enough to the bell tower, I don't think. So maybe we can throw it in here somewhere. The placement's usually really, really, really good on this. Like really good. Um, but I'm just having a little bit of trouble here. Okay, let's uh, let's harvest these. Get these out of the way. We'll get you out of the way. We'll chop you down as well. There we go. We'll harvest these bushes as well, which are in the way. Which will give us resources anyway, and we do need these resources to build anyway, so that's all right. Um... How are we going to go in there, I reckon? Get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. I don't know whether these small bushes get in the way, to be honest, but let's see. Let's see what we've got. There we go. Let's try and put him in here now. Might have to chop that tree down. I don't know. Might have to chop this one down. Let's get rid of these bushes. There we go. Get rid of you. I kind of don't like getting these these ones because I don't know whether these grow into trees. I reckon they do. Right, that should be good. That should be good. Should be able to, like, he's close to the bell tower. We should be able to build it in there. So let's get our hammer out. Uh, we'll go into there, we'll go into there, and there. Perfect, that'll do. Okay, so we're going to need, wow, we need a crap load of logs. No wonder, because it's such a big structure as well. And then we can assign one of these villages as a hunter, and we can start getting proper food coming in. How many uh, resources? We're going to need planks. That's fine. Now, I'll show you how to unlock, I'll show you how to do planks. I'll probably have some in storage, but this is really, really cool. Get that, get that chop that up 
and then we get out uh then we get out this tool here with it which is an ads and then we do that and then hit those and we can get uh we can get planks out of that there we go and we needed i think it was 20 didn't we let's chop this tree over here down as well yeah so it's pretty cool like the the, the processes that you've got to go through there we go. Grab you. Grab you. There we go. And we've got uh, 20 planks now, which should be good. Let's get our hammer back out. Okay, lovely. And in we go. Plenty of planks. Probably going to need some more logs as well. So uh, this is the building process, though. It goes in stages. So we need two planks for that. Oh, and then we need sticks. So we're running out of uh, we're running out of planks, but we've got plenty of sticks. So that's fine. We can put those in there, and we can get ourselves some planks. So we'll put all the sticks in first, I think. There we go. So it can be quite a process, but it's uh, but it's actually not too bad once you sort of get used to. That one just needs planks. That one needs planks. That one needs two sticks. All right, lovely. Uh, I'm going to get myself some planks, guys. I'll see you when that's done. All right, let's see if we can get these walls done. It takes three planks in there. These ones all take two, I think, so we should have plenty. I also collected a couple of logs, but I don't know whether I collected enough. So. And. Jimmy just broke his hammer. Alright, so now we've got to do the roof. Uh, which we need 16 planks, so I'm going to have to get some more planks for this, but we can put all of our stones and our sticks in, and we'll get all that done first, and then I'll have to go and chop one more tree down. Uh, I do actually have a log. Now, that brings up our uh, perk system, which I'm going to show you as well, so that was a good, uh, that was a good intro to that before we actually end up, before we finish this episode. I'm going to throw that plank down there, and I'm going to get you out. I'm going to debark you, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hit you up, and that was just enough. Now we need uh, now we need logs because uh, what we need to do is we need to build all of the workstations that these guys require in here, which uh, takes logs, as you can see, but. Thankfully, they're logs as well, but thankfully, uh, we're going to have um, uh, bows. We're going to be able to make bows in here, which is going to be fantastic as well. So there we go. Go in there. That's the general storage. I don't... There is some stuff to build up here as well, up on this uh, tower. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need a lot of logs, so there we go. Uh, this is... Probably where we're going to add some planks there as well, by the looks of it. So, let's go into our perk system, which is our legend system here. And we've just unlocked another... Uh, another... We've, we've got two skills to unlock. So, barter deals, build a simple trading post and attract visiting merchants. I'm going to do that, because uh, we're getting to that point now. Um, I haven't uh, crop caretakers... Uh, let's see, times per season. This allows you to potentially harvest them more times per season. That uh, reduces meal need consumption in your villages, which is a really good thing. And that's kind of a luck thing. Uh, you'll find more loot in abandoned chests and fallen enemies, which is actually really good now that we're starting to, uh, to do enemies. We've also got worker pro productivity training. Uh, increases their workload capacity. Effective heating distribution, I'm going to take that, most definitely. 
Uh, we've got a Craftsman one here as well. Um, so this actually increases stamina, which is good. This, uh, we can use our tools longer when we're doing that. We've got a whole pile of perks that are here to unlock. And I think that's stamina cost, which I'm doing all right on. I think we might take a little bit of extra stamina there, I reckon. There we go. We've also got Way of the Warrior. Um, so Animal Trophy Hunter provides more resources depending on the animal. Uh, block improvements. Your blocks become more effective and cheaper. So we're going to need to go that. It increases quick attack damage. I'm going to unlock that for now. And then we have the Way of the Monk as well, which gives you... Uh, Different, uh, different skills related to your crafting and stuff like that. So, there you go. Okay, here we go. Logs, logs, logs. Go out here and we'll get upstairs and we'll finish that one off. And I think there might have been some planks required up here as well, wasn't there? Which I've got some spare logs on me. Yep, that's the logs. So what we'll do is we'll grab one of those and one of those and we'll drop them down there. We'll get that. And I knew that was going to happen. So we'll make ourselves another one of those quickly. And we'll grab that. That should be enough, I reckon. And it is... So there you go. So now what we're going to do is um, I'll just quickly show you. We're going to go back into here and we're going to go into jobs. And we're going to find somebody who doesn't have a job. Actually, let's go into population. Unemployed. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to change that to the, the hunter's hut. And we'll sleep him here and we'll assign him as a hunter in the hunter's hut. Right there. And we will select recipes. We want meat. We want uh, fur. We want fat. And we definitely want feathers. And we'll find a, a balance between this. So we'll go, we'll bring that down. I think we've got enough food at the moment so we can take that down to there we can get five fur five fat and the rest feathers maybe a little bit more meat and a little bit more fur If he gets 10 feathers a day, that should be enough, shouldn't it? So what's he need? What tool does he need? He's going to need stone, uh, stone knives for that. And he's going to need stone knife for that. So he definitely needs stone knives. So that's easy. We can do that. We can sort that out. And then we can actually craft a... And arrows and a bow here. Let's craft ourselves a bow. Lovely. Ammunition. Let's craft ourselves one more bow. And let's craft ourselves some arrows because I really wanted to craft myself a bow. So there we go. And then what we'll do is we'll do a stone knife and we'll throw that... Um, we throw that stone knife into storage, uh, into our main storage, and that's where he accesses those tools from. So, okay, arrows are done. And the other thing that we can do is we can go into Dynasty, we can go into Jobs, and we can go into the woodworking table here and we can actually add knife recipe there stone knife 
And we can uh, remove probably two of those. One of those. Two of those. And we can actually add stone knives in here. There we go. That'll do. What else can she make at the moment? Is there anything else she can make? Probably buckets. Probably want to make one bucket per day, I reckon. Um, make two buckets per day. That'll be all right. And uh, increase your... No, that'll be about right. That'll be about right, I reckon. There you go. So now she'll produce knives and she'll put them in storage. And... Um, and uh, that's that's where he will that's where he'll gather them from. So, but uh, for now we could make we could make maybe four of them. And we can throw them in there, and we'll throw a bow in there as well, just in case he needs it. So you put it over in your uh, in your main storage over here, which is your general storage, uh, and this is where he goes from. So let's throw that and that and that. And that over, and let's throw a bow over there as well. I don't know whether he needs uh, other tools or not. So, there you go, guys. There you go. The rest of this uh, timber and stuff we can throw into here. Uh, we can throw all of this in here. And throw the firewood in as well. We do need to make some more firewood and keep that running. But uh, this is it, guys. This is Sengoku Dynasty. Uh, it's had a lot of updates and stuff. I hope you like my village. I hope you like this video as I uh, wander through and show you all the things that I have done in this game so far. And this is probably maybe 10, 11 hours worth of play. Uh, or no, probably even less, actually. No, I reckon less. Maybe, maybe six hours worth of play. To get it to where it is now and to be working through all the quests and stuff and we have so much more to go as well but uh thank you very much for watching guys i was i planted that bamboo by the way yes i did we can chop it down if we want to but i put it there as decoration it's probably in a really bad spot thanks for watching everybody i will see you all next time bye